for Olivia Schuler joins us there live now to share what she's learning this morning. Good morning, Olivia. Roger and Marcy, good morning. I've been hitting the phone lines trying to get through to East Putnam Fire Department to try to learn more about this fire. We're on a really dark and quiet road. We can see in the distance that there is a home that was back there. There's a red light showing that there might still be some fire crews on the scene. But what we do have are some images from an eyewitness that really show just how devastating this fire was since we other update for you in less than 30 minutes. We're live this morning in Putnam, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Marcy, I've been hitting the phone lines trying to talk to the fire department as well as local police department trying to get some answers about this fire because we are on a really dark wooded path right now. The home in which this fire took place is down a really narrow and dark driveway, so there's not much we can see. We can see a little bit of some red lights, which insinuates that the fire department may still be up there working on completely getting this fire out, but we want to show you some really devastating images of it was. Now, it is important to know we are just days away from Christmas. So something to this extent is really heartbreaking. We are continuing to make calls to officials and as soon as we do have more information, you'll be the first to know here on our Channel 3 News app. Live this morning in East Putnam, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. I'm just now live to share what she's learning. Good morning, Olivia. Marcy and Roger, good morning. I've been hitting the phone lines all morning long, trying to get in touch with firefighters as well as police to get some answers about this fire. But here's what I can tell you. It's really what I can see. We are on a really dark wooded road right now. The home is just a few steps back. There's a really long driveway. We can see some red lights over there, which insinuates that some firefighters may still be on the scene trying to clear the fire completely out. But let's show you some images. We want to show just how massive and strong this fire really was that firefighters worked on for several hours overnight. It's important to note we're just a few days from Christmas, so an extent of a fire like this is really just devastating. As soon as we have more information to share with you, you'll be the first to know. We're live this morning at East Putnam. Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thanks so much. Tell us what she knows right now. Good morning, Olivia. Roger, good morning. We've really been digging for answers all morning long. I finally heard from police. They tell me their public information officer comes in at 8 o'clock, and that's when we can expect to get some more concrete answers. In the meantime, we've been continuing been making calls to firefighters to try to get some more answers. But here's what I can show you is that we're really on to show how large and severe this fire was overnight. Now, this is really just devastating. A few days out from Christmas to have an extent of a fire like this, we are continuing to hit those phones lines and as soon as we have an update it'll be with you on our channel 3 news app live this morning in east putnam olivia schuler channel 3 eyewitness news